Hey guys, um, today I want to talk to you about NPD or Narcissistic Personality Disorder. Uh, some of you may have read the article that I had posted a few days ago, which spoke about the monsters who walk among us. Now I know it sounds like a very dark thing to say because here's the strange thing about NPD. Normally it's somebody who's suffering who's called a victim. But in the case of this mental disorder, it is innocent people who actually suffer. Uh, there are a lot of forums on Quora also which talk about victims and survivors of narcissistic abuse. And there they are often referred to as narcs in short. And here's the thing about narcs. They can convince you of any false reality. A narc could physically assault you and convince you that they are the ones who felt threatened and you're the one who is getting aggressive. And they can make you believe that for years. They can also convince people around you and I guess we've seen something similar play out in recent times in many many high profile cases as well. Now the reason for sharing this video is to let people know that if you feel that you're in a sort of situation where something doesn't feel right, that you feel like you're doing everything right and yet for some reason you find yourself on the receiving end, it is good to just you know sort of Maybe speak to a therapist and work on it to understand exactly whether you're being delusional or whether something is actually wrong. Because the way narcs mess with your head is that they twist the reality around you completely. Uh, it becomes literally the exact opposite. The person who's the victim starts feeling like they are the abuser. Well, the person who's the abuser is able to claim that they are the victim. And the reason they are able to do that so convincingly is because a narc firmly and absolutely believes his or her lies. And that's why they are so terrifyingly convincing to other people as well. It's possible that even the people who you relied on for support to help you when you discover that there's somebody in your life who has this mental disorder and who's been causing tremendous harm and devastation in your life, uh, don't even be surprised, much less shocked. If you find out that the narc has already reached out to them and spun a very false narrative of you as well as them. You need to be ready that even your whole world could come blowing up when everybody who you thought is your support turns out to be against you. In such a case, uh, all I would advise is that uh, you must ensure that you keep yourself isolated and do not fall for any bait that the narc will throw your way to emotionally engage you. Because any reaction that you get will be shared with other people to show that, see, you're the one with the problem. So just like in any other thing in therapy, eventually it still boils down to how do you respond and what can you do to make things better. Uh, I hope this was useful. Uh, please feel free to reach out to me and also read relevant resources on Quora as well as other internet forums. But of course, any information on the internet, do keep in mind it's ultimately a bunch of people. Do not attempt to diagnose anyone as having this disease on your own. It's good to get some sort of professional help. And remember, even if they are not willing to take professional help, you can at least do that for yourself and make your life better. Uh, you can uh, reach out to me as mentioned earlier and you can follow as well uh, while this is a comedy channel. But I felt there are certain aspects of mental health that are very, very important to share. And uh, since comedy also in some ways comes from truth, I believe the only way to fight a narc is also to mercilessly stay focused on the truth, on objective facts and rational data and do not fall for any emotional bait. My name is Vikram Podar. I hope this video was useful. If you think it could be useful for anyone, please feel free to share it with them and let them know that there is somebody who understands. Thank you.